Blessings to everyone. This is Ken, your partner in prayer and God's prophetic intercessor. Yes, Lord, letting you know that something good always happens when we pray. This morning, we're coming to you live from the prayer chapel and welcome to the School of Prayer. Take a seat this morning and enjoy the class. Today, we're going to be talking about what are you trying to say? And we're going to pray in regards to this matter as well. And uh, I'm using a text, a verse of scripture found in the book of uh, Corinthians, where Paul says, if a trumpet gives an uncertain sound, how will you know to prepare either for battle or to retreat? And so this is like people who are not clear, you know, who speak with a forked tongue. Half the time they speak the truth and the other half they tell lies. But the fact of the matter is a half truth is still a whole lie. And these kinds of people are dangerous, my brothers and sisters. And so we're going to pray that God would help us to get rid of them, to remove them. There's a verse that we're going to use in the book of Proverbs for that. But let me tell you a little something about what I mean with people double speak and they're really not clear. They're saying one thing when they mean another. You know, uh, back in the day, I had long hair. You know, I don't have any on my head now, but we called it a perm, a relaxer, you know. And I was in the beauty supply, and I was buying some uh, products because I was going to get my hair laid. You know what I mean. And there was this guy standing next to me, and he looked me upside my head and said, he said, you used to have a perm, didn't you? <laughs> and what he was trying to say was, whatever it is you got now, that ain't what it is. You know what I mean? There are people like that. You know, you can be around them and they say, girl, you used to be fine. But what they're trying to say is, you're not fine anymore. You know what I mean? Or you used to have a real nice shape. In other words, what they're trying to say is you're fat. You see, and so these are kinds of people that double speak. You, you're really not sure what they are trying to say. They're like the trumpet that blows a, a sound, but it's uncertain. You don't know whether to charge or to retreat. You get what I'm saying? And these kinds of people are dangerous because they do not represent the spirit of God. A half truth is still a whole lie. And if they're not clear, then we can know that they're not on the side of the Holy Ghost because the Bible says that the Spirit of God speaks expressly. That is clearly. There's no double talk. You know what I'm saying? There is none of that, man. You, I remember when you had money. You know, a girl could tell you that you used to take me out all the time. We would go shopping. And now what she's saying or what she's trying to say is you're broke. And she don't want to be bothered with you. You get what I mean? But the sound is not clear. It's uncertain. And the reason I say these kind of people are dangerous is because they will set you up. And, uh, you know, the intent on their side can be justified. For instance, they could say, you know, that man got a lot of money. He's always by himself and he doesn't have any security. So what they're telling to the jacker is, he's a mark, you can go get him anytime because nobody's never around him, he's not protected, and uh, you know, he's always got money in his pocket. Same could be said with your girlfriend telling someone else, you know, she always have a lot of cash. She's a beautician, she get a lot of tips, and then she got a side hustle, you know what I mean? She waitressing at this exclusive bar, and they just break her off a lot of times with much bread. And she always leaves her purse in her passengers, on the passenger side in her car. So what they're telling them is how you can be gotten, you know, how you can be robbed. So it's a setup. We want people around us who mean yes. Their yes mean yes, their no means no. You, don't, you know, you're not undecided and undecisive and, and double-tongued. You speak what you mean and you mean what you say. So I want us to pray. And when you are dealing with these kind of people, you know, one of the ways that I found, according to the Proverbs, where the man is praying, he says, Lord, and this is what you should pray. Remove far from me 
those who are vain and who speak lies because they could be all up underneath you and you never know that they're the one because they're the people who are half-heartedly giving you praise or condemning you, making it sound like praise, like that guy was telling me, I used to have a perm. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't take no offense, but the point of it is you deal with people like that and you don't even know that the, uh, the, the deeper side of it can get you in a whole lot of trouble. So let us believe God that he will remove far from us vanity and those who speak lies. The book says, speak the truth one to another. Not half the truth, not a, a, a whole lie. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? This is Ken, your partner in prayer, God's prophetic intercessor, Let you know that something good, yes, Lord, always happens when we pray. This is how you're going to remove those people from your circle with that prayer. God bless you. We'll see you again. The Lord say the same. Bye now.